Hello, this video is about how to make and use a customized module. A module refers to a series of operations on browsers. I can simulate a login operation with module. Now I'm going to make a login module for a website. Switch to module manager first. Module in the program will be listed here. Module name here, website URL to visit is here. Module type, including system and custom module. Click Add and begin to edit the module. Here to input the URL to visit. This is the operation list, and operations in it will be executed one by one. Name, value, and type of operation. The last one is whether to select a control. Click Add. These are operations available. For the asterisk operation, if I want to add these operations, I need to input operation name in this input box. Add an operation and also add a parameter with the same name as the operation. When adding an account, the user can fill in these displayed parameters. When the operation is running, the value of the parameter will be automatically filled in to the corresponding operation. Whether login operation is an operation to judge whether the account logs in or not. Value contains true and false. If the value is true, it means this account already logged in when the operation found the control. The module will return success or it will keep running the rest of operations. If the value is false, it means this account already logged in before the control has been found. The module will return success, or it will keep running the rest of operations. Keyboard entry operation means to analog keyboard to input values to a specified control. Set value operation means to set parameter values to specify the control. Mouse click operation means to simulate mouse to click the specified control. Page load wait operation. When module runs till this operation, it will wait till the specified control is found. I can set the maximum waiting time. When exceeding the waiting time, the module will continue to run the rest of operations. Sleep operation means module will wait for a specified period of time when running till this operation. In the middle, it's a browser. Site URL here. Click negative to switch the page. The URL will be filled in this input box automatically. This is a setting of selected control. It's similar to action settings in bot shift. Next, I will start to create a module. Open a website. The website to visit has been input here. Add a weather login operation. Select login button. I set a return value as false, which means successful login. Add a mouse click operation to click login button. Right click on it to test run it. Here is the page, which means this operation is available. Add a page load wait operation. I set it that it will wait after the username shows. Remember to save parameters. Next, I add two keyboard entry operations to simulate to input account and password.
finish their control settings. Set values. Test run the two operations. It's working. Add a mouse click operation to hit login button. Click in Find HTML Item. I can check if the right controls will be found. At last, I need to select an operation value as username of current account so that I can distinguish accounts. I set this value as username of this account and it is marked with red. Now I have finished a login module. I can export this module or import a module. Name the module. Click Save Module. This is the module I added. Select it. I can edit and remove it. Next. I will add a group and some accounts which use this module. Name the group Warrior. Select the module created just now. Click Add. Now I import accounts. Next, I open the checked accounts and test if the module works. Three accounts have logged in successfully. That's all for this video. Thank you.